No way. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let's see. What? Iowa? Y'all are coming to see me? Sharing God's love in the digital world and encouraging others to live by faith. This is Joshua Verwers. Hey y'all, Joshua Verwers here. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I have got a doozy up for you today. This is so exciting. Oh, I can't wait to get into it. But first, if you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know that each and every week, what we try to do here is provide some content that will bring you some information and inspiration to help you live by faith. So if that sounds good, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and then ring that bell so YouTube will notify you each and every time we bring a new video. Now, I'm sitting here, I'm watching on Instagram, I'm looking and all of a sudden, I get this, this story notification from a bite of brownie and it says they're coming to Iowa. So of course, I gotta text them back. And I'm like, seriously, you're coming to Iowa to see me? You know what? They weren't coming to Iowa to see me. But they're in Iowa and they're gonna see us. We gotta go. This is going to be the first Christian YouTuber that I've met in person. I've met professional wrestlers, I've met presidential candidates and none of them really get me excited. But these guys, I'm excited. You know what? Let's go. Let's let's grab this and go. Alright, so we are on our way for a first. It is a first for me. I don't know, do we call this like a YouTubers meetup or a Christian Vloggers Unite? I'm not exactly sure what we're doing. But we are on our way to meet up with Jared and Jessica from A Bite of Brownie. And do you think you can guess what we're going to be doing? Any place you could possibly think of that we might try to meet up with some fellow YouTubers, some fellow Christians for some conversation and maybe some, uh, oh, you know. I will take another American. Hey everybody, Joshua Verwers here with Jared from A Bite of Brownie. Now, if you guys have not checked out his channel yet, shame on you, for shame. It's amazing, but seriously, all you gotta do is click this little card that is right above Jared's head and it's going to take you to their channel. Once you get there, you go to the channel. So that means I'm giving you permission. Stop watching my video, click right now. You can come back later and when you get there, you hit that subscribe button and then you ring that little bell so that way YouTube tells you every time they upload a new video. Follow him on Instagram too because, well, this is Sunday afternoon. Tomorrow is what? Monday. And it is a Mavic Monday. Oh! Mavic Mondays. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> this guy's got some amazing drone skills. I'm envious of it because one of the things you notice that I do try to do is tell stories and there's always a story to be told in the visuals and how do you do that because that's the thing I think I love about yours you've obviously got some inspiration from people but oh yeah how do you tell that everyday story of just God in your life through video well it, it's basic kindergarten stuff it's show and tell so if I if I'm just talking then I've noticed that people get bored and they don't really listen and if I'm on a video medium anyway if you guys are watching this for the video I might as well string across a story over the top of it so I'm telling you a story and then if you'll notice on my channel I'm telling you something but I'm also trying as best as I can to show you that story with visual pictures 
And then the inspirations, Peter McKinnon, Casey Neistat, you know, multiple camera angles, drone angle, whatever you've got in your bag. I mean, we were just talking about showing up with a cell phone and making it work. So if you just got a cell phone, you show up with a cell phone and you make it work. But you do multiple angles, multiple lenses, multiple looks, whatever you can do to tell that story. So tell us a little bit about what we can find on your channel. Oh, on my channel, it's just stories of faith uh, focused around Jesus, focused around the person of Jesus. It's all about the people who either haven't haven't heard the message, haven't heard the Word of God, haven't haven't experienced Him. For you guys to come in contact with Him, and for other believers to be built up in the faith. So, like, if you're a, if you're a believer looking for another channel, well, then I'm I'm right here. Our families are basically just putting out as much content as possible to say God is good. He's incredibly wonderful. If you just taste and see his extravagant love, you'd be blown away. And that's our whole channel. So visually and through storytelling, verbally, we're going to say God is good every day, every moment. That's what we're going for in my channel. For the people that are watching this, that they've kind of felt that pull because you're watching it on YouTube. Right. You've felt like this is a thing that I might be able to do. I've, I've got a smartphone. I can pull it out and I can record what would you do to encourage them to take that step and just oh, totally. get their voice out there? I would say you're incredibly unique. Everybody's perspective is incredibly unique. And you, if you have a drive in here, if you're a believer, you've been walking with the Lord, you've been walking with Jesus, and you have a story to tell. Your struggles, your pain, your insight into things, they all matter. And so I would highly, highly encourage you, tell your story, visually tell your story, and get it out there. Yeah. All right, one more question for yes, you. Sir. What is your favorite Bible verse? I'm about to I'm about to cop out so hardcore here, but I, I can't I can't get around it because for God so loved the world. I mean my goodness. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. There there's just something all encapsulating and all inclusive about who he is in that statement. It is the most prominent text in, in all of history because of, of what it is, because of who he represents, or because of what it represents. It is God's love for you, for me, for us, represented in the giving of his son. So I'm, I'm going with John 3.16. Final answer. Final answer. Final answer. Ring the bell, you win. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Awesome. All right. Okay, so we just finished up with a bite of brownie and I've got to say that that was amazing. I think, you know, one of the scriptures that has always kind of stood out to me is in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24, 25, where it says that we're not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together. But as the day approaches and it's that day of Jesus's return, we should actually be gathering together even more often. And so it's things like this that I just want to encourage you guys. It doesn't matter even if it's just on YouTube and the digital, we can connect down in the comments section below. We can really carry on this conversation and we can get to know one another. I was just fortunate enough today that a bite of brownie happened to be traveling through Iowa. So we were able to jet up right after church and see them get some delicious coffee and have some wonderful time of just hanging out and getting to know one another. So. I think that's all we got for you. Until next time, we just want to encourage y'all, stay blessed and enjoy God's best.